Hello everyone, I am Swapnil Mane, a data extraction and web automation expert. In this video, we are going to cover 7 steps to prevent getting blocked when web scrapping so that you can extract data from literally any website without getting blocked. Also, the last method is a shortcut. So if you prefer that one, you can skip to the last step of the video. But I would recommend to check out each of the steps so that you get the solution based on your needs. So let's get started. First step, add real request headers to your program. All of them, especially the user agents. Most of the websites check for request headers coming from your request and if they see something unusual or do not see any headers at all, they will block your request. So to get unblocked, add real request headers to your request. The best way to see the request headers needed for the website is opening inspect element in your browser and opening the networks tab and checking the request which has the data. It has the request headers that you need to mimic based on the website you are scraping data from. Add the same headers in your program. Alternatively, you can also get the request headers that your real browser usually passes from here httpbin.org slash headers and add this to your program as request headers. I also usually use a tool called Postman to mimic the request and see if adding the real request headers can solve the issue. If it solves the issue, then go and add it in your program. Second step, scrape the data slowly. Some websites will immediately block you if they see that you are sending huge amount of requests in a short amount of time. They will send a 4 to 9 error code for this. They will even block your IP for a short period of time like minutes to an hour or some websites even block your IP for an entire day. So scrape the data slowly and if they block your IP, we can come to the third point which is use premium proxy rotation service in your program. Third step, use a premium proxy rotation services in your program. If you visit a website for a large number of times through your program or maybe trigger their system, they may block your IP address. To see if an IP address is blocked, you can get a free VPN, change your IP address and see if you can visit the web page through your browser. If you can visit the web page through your browser through a new IP, then most probably your old IP address has been blocked. In this case, you will have to use a premium proxy rotation services. Gitto Data is one such company that provides access to premium residential proxies and has one of the highest success rates when scraping data. It also comes up with other antibot bypass mechanisms so that you do not have to worry about your request getting blocked from any website. Check out the link for it in the description. Fourth step, switch to a different technology. Sometimes websites have set a stronger antibot mechanisms for some specific technologies like Selenium or just the request library. So to work around that, you can test out different technologies and try getting the HTML content from each of the pages. You can switch from Selenium to Selenium Stealth or to Undetected Browser or to Scrappy with Splash or maybe Puppeteer as well. You can check out different technology and see which one is able to bypass the antibot mechanism of the website. Fifth step, handling CAPTCHAs. CAPTCHAs are considered one of the biggest hurdles when scraping data, but no worries. Let's see how we can deal with this issue effortlessly. First of all, there are two types of CAPTCHAs. First one is soft CAPTCHAs. These are the captures which are only shown when a website detects that you are a bot or a program. So this type of captures can be solved by the steps that we mentioned before in the previous steps or you can directly use a web scraping API like Gato Data. Second one, hard captures. These are the captures which are always shown no matter if the website detects that you are a bot or a program or real human. The best way to solve these hard captures is by using real human workers or AI solvers that will solve the captcha for us. The two best services that I personally use are first is two captcha service and second one is capsolver.com. I will link those down in the description. Also, I am not linked with them in any way for this video. I am just mentioning the tools that I personally use for web scraping. Now coming to the next step. Sixth step, rotating request headers and user agents. Now just like you rotate your IP addresses, you can also rotate your user agents and request headers since some of the websites may identify you on the basis of your browser's info. Now coming to the final and probably one of the strongest step, 7th step and I like to call this the final resolution. Sometimes it may happen that even after doing everything you can, the website may still block us. This can happen because the websites are able to collect thousands of data points from your request like the device info, your mouse movements, the typing speed, the location and so much more and if they find even one thing unusual they may block your request. So in this case the best way to still get the data is to use an API that manages the antibot bypass mechanism for us. Now the best one in the market is Gato Data API. Now for full transparency this API is created by me but I can still guarantee that it's the best in the market in terms of cost and efficiency. So let me show it to you how it works. So here, so here we are. Gato Data can get data from literally any website without getting blocked and bypass any antibot mechanism out there. So to try out the product, you can just click here, sign up from here and since I have already logged in, uh, I can directly move to the dashboard. So when you sign up, you will get 1000 free credits to try out the product. But yeah, this is the API playground where you will reach. And if you'd like to move to the higher plan, you can just upgrade it from here or you can check out the pricing and get it from there. Or like if you'd like to see specific features in detail, you can read the documentation over here. 
बट या दिस इज हाउ द ई पी आई प्ले ग्राउंड लुक्स एंड यू कैन क्रिएट द रिक्वेस्ट ओवर हियर यू कैन गेट द कोड फॉर इट यू कैन मेमिक इट फॉर लार्ज नंबर ऑफ पेजेस एंड यू कैन सी द एच टी एम एल कंटेंट ओवर हियर सो दिस इज हाउ इट लुक्स एंड लेट सी हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट द रिक्वेस्ट सो वी हैव द वेबसाइट यू आर एल सो यू कैन एड द वेबसाइट यू आर एल दैट यू वॉन्ट टू वेबसाइट पेज यू वॉन्ट टू स्क्रेप डेटा फ्रॉम देन आई पी लोकेशन यू कैन चेंज द लोकेशन ऑफ प्रोग्जिज फ्रॉम हियर सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गेट डेटा फ्रॉम इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एक्सेस द वेबसाइट फ्रॉम अदर कंट्रीज यू कैन चेंज इट फ्रॉम हियर देन जावा स्क्रिप्ट इफ अ वेबसाइट रिक्वायर्स जावा स्क्रिप्ट देन यू कैन एनेबल इट फ्रॉम हियर इफ इट डज नॉट रिक्वायर देन यू कैन टर्न इट नो देन देर इज एंटी बॉट लेवल सो इट इट इज फ्रॉम वन टू थ्री सो फॉर सिंपल वेबसाइट्स वन इज इनफ फॉर हायर कॉम्प्लिकेटेड वेबसाइट्स एंड वेर द सिक्योरिटी इज हाई यू कैन चेक आउट द नेक्स्ट लेवल ऑफ एंटी बॉट लेवल्स विच इज लाइक टू एंड थ्री द थ्री इज द टफेस्ट वन एंड स्क्रीन शॉट यू कैन टर्न द स्क्रीन शॉट ऑन फ्रॉम यर सो इफ यू लाइक टू सी इफ यू आर फेचिंग द डेटा करेक्टली आर नॉट यू कैन टर्न ऑन द स्क्रीन शॉट एंड यू विल ऑल्सो सी इट हियर सो या दैट्स अ कूल फीचर and you have output so if you want to get the output in html then you can turn you this is already enabled if you want to get json data so you can turn on the selectors and you can change the selectors from here and you will get the data in specific json format so you don't have to parse it separately you can just add the css or xpath selectors and it will get the data in json format so let's try out the product antibot level 2 and 3 requires higher credit so it's recommended to start from 1 and move to 3 if it's a complicated website so let's say let's try it out for this specific website for this default url so if we send the request let's wait for some time and we'll get the html content over here and we have got the html content of this specific website which is like ip related website and we have got screenshot of it as well so this is how it works and let's try it out for like a harder and complex website and one of the harder and complex websites to scrape is g2.com so let's try it out on this one this has like very high security plus cloudflare protection as well so if it can anti block this then it would be very cool we will have to use antibot level 3 because it has a higher security one we will turn on the screenshot and let's see if this works we have sent the request and it has got us the html content and if you see the screenshot it has got us the screenshot as well and you can try it out try this website out on other web scraping apis as well and you will surely get blocked so that's why i say get to data api is the best one because you won't get blocked over here and to be honest like full transparency this is created by me and i personally use it every day as well but yeah i can guarantee you see you that this is the best web scraping api over there in the market so let me show you the power of selectors as well so selectors help us to get the data in json format and here you can add css or xpath selectors and uh, there is already prefilled selectors so for let like, let's say we want to scrape data from books to scrape.com and we want to get the book names and book price so we can add the url over here so this this selectors have been done for this specific website and we will get the book name of each of the book uh and we'll get all the book names for the book price we'll get just the first listing so we can add listing type if you like uh, to get the all listings or if you like to get just the first listing we can add it over here for more detail you can just check out the documentation but yeah let's see let's send the request over here antibot level 1 is enough for this and let's send the request and we should get the data in json format over here and as you can see it has got all the book names and the first book price so this is a really cool feature for you to get the data in json format without you to parsing it separately so this is how geto data api works and if you have any questions you can just contact the customer support over from here uh, also like for selectors if you are on premium plan uh, we also help you to create the selectors uh, without you needing to do it or you can do it and take our help as well So yeah and it's done hope you found the video useful and if you did make sure to let me know that in the comments or by liking the video and if you have any future suggestions for the videos just let me know that in the comments as well and i will definitely make a video on those thank you and see you in next videos